All right, guys, what's up? MacBoy here from MacBoy Productions again. Uh, this time I'm going to be showing you a screen flow tutorial. And uh, I know I've done this a couple of times, but this is my third or second or fourth exporting settings tutorial. Uh, these are these things are different from before. That's why I'm showing you again. And uh, you know what? I got these tips and uh, these settings from Macintosh Ch Tips a channel on YouTube, very popular, very nice, very professional. Go ahead and check that out. Link is in the description. And this is what I'm going to be showing you, the export properties and settings in ScreenFlow. So once you've done editing your project, your video, I've just got nothing here, just three seconds of recording my screen. All right, and that's it. Once you're done, you can go to File and Export, or just hit Command U on the desktop or on the keyboard. All right, so it comes up with the dialog box, and from here, first thing you need to do is to change your file name. So once you've done that, save it where you want to save it, and this is where you change the settings. The preset for you, it's probably going to be web high, or web high best quality, something like that. This is where you're going to hit customize, and another dialog box is going to come up, which is the movie settings. So in the video tab, in the video panel. Hit settings there and make sure the compression type is set to H2 H.264. All right, and then the frame rate set it to current, leave it at that. Now, the keyframes I just want to leave it at 24 frames, I don't want to mess around with that too much because once you change it, once you make a user set and not the default, it actually makes it worse. That's what I uh, have learned over my experience. All right, data rate now, uh, emix 77 taught me that. To, we should restrict that rate to 2,000 kilobytes per second or 2,000 kilobits per second. Um, however, if I just left it to automatic, I found that the picture quality was much better uh, than 2,000 kilobits per second. So I'm going to leave that to automatic for now. Frame recording, reordering, leave that checked off, and the compressor quality, pick to the best. Encoding again, best quality, multi pass. Once you've done that, hit OK. And then you can skip the filters because uh, filters are just different uh, colors and different things you can change with the video, not the video properties, the export settings, but like, for example, the blur adjustments, the sharpen, and the different effects, layer effects, just like in Photoshop and things like that. But we're not going to be touching those right now. And then just scroll down or go down to size, um, change it to from wherever you have right now to 1280 by 720 HD. Uh, Emix77 once again taught me HD 1280 by 720, 16 by 9. Um, but then I just found out from Macintosh Tips' video that they really don't make a difference. It, it's the exact same thing, but all they do is take more power from the CPU to when exporting. So 1280 by 720 HD. Preserve aspect ratio, no, we don't want to do that. And uh, the interlace source video, no, we don't want to do that either. Hit OK, and then sound, you can change that if you would like. Really, I don't want to change that a lot, but if you want, you can just change the target bit rate to 192 kilobits per sec. All right, again, hit OK, and then uh, just leave this as a default for fast start, okay? Hit OK from there. Now, uh, the dimensions, it's probably going to be checked off to scale by 50%, 1960 by 600. And um, I don't like that. So what you're going to do is you need to, you're going to check off scale to custom size and then put 1280 by 720 and then make sure that letterbox content is not checked off. And then guys, motion blur is one of my favorite features of screen flow. Makes the video much more smooth, much more professional looking, again, in my opinion, and um, just gives a better overall look. Again, I have done the tutorial on what motion blur is. Uh, and previous times if you want you can go check that on my channel but this is what you do I'm going to export this as test and before you hit export make sure you go to preset and then click on make settings default once you've changed everything as I've told you all right once it's uh, settings a default every time you, have, you click export or you go to file export it's going to have these settings already done for you hit export it's going to go to your desktop it should take just a few seconds well, this is taking longer than I thought. Okay, never mind. Close out of there, go onto my desktop, and here's my test video. All right, 
Now, um, from before, uh, I really, really think that this is much better quality. Um, really, it is a drastic change in the video quality and picture effect when you're watching it in HD on YouTube. So basically, this is just good export settings for YouTube and uh, 16 by 9 widescreen. All right, guys. Basically it. That was basically it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope that helped for all you ScreenFlow users, all you video makers out there on YouTube. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to Macintosh Tips and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe on this video and channel. Guys, to the right of this video in the description, you will find my Twitter where you can follow me for all the backstage news of MacBoy. You will find my blog, which I guarantee you will love. Don't forget to bookmark that and you will find my business email where you can contact me for any questions, concerns, comments, or suggestions. If you like my wallpaper, again, you can download it from the link in the description also. Once again, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see every single one of you next time on MacBoy Productions.